Hello, everybody. Welcome to Deborah's Journey. My name is Deborah, and on this channel, I am a cash stuffer, a budgeter, and I'm on a mission to pay off a $50,000 student loan debt. I always like to show you that, yes, in October of 2020, I owed $50,000 and a couple of hundred. And that was to Navian. I made the choice to refinance my student loan with SoFi. And so I've been paying back this loan for several months. Little by little, my balance has gone down. And so let's go to our last payment. And so I can share with you where I am at. So I ended January with a balance of $17,963.70. That was my ending balance. I plugged the numbers in. So in February, my balance was carried over to from um, the previous month, uh, which was 17,963.70. And so I always start by making my minimum payment just so you can see where I am at with this and that even if I just pay the minimum, what that looks like. So my minimum payment was a total of $640, and that brought my balance down to $17,323.70. So I am going to tell you my interest rate was less, thank God, because I still don't understand how it was more in January than it was in December. I still think... The amount of interest I'm paying based on the amount I have paid down over the last year is still quite high. And I cannot figure out why my interest is calculating at this rate. Now, my interest rate is 8.95%, almost 9%, but still, I think it's a little high. So for the month of February, my interest that I paid was $136.00 and 17 cents. And that brought my balance down to $17,459.87. So if you really want to look at how predatory student loans are, pay attention to the interest because that is where your anger should be. So at least I paid less than the month of January. So I guess that's a win. Okay, so let me carry over the balance. That is $17,459.87. So I always make a second payment because I like to use savings challenges to help boost my payment. So I was able to save and finish two savings challenges this month. I also received some debuts thanks to Melissa from Budget Stuff Save Repeat. Thank you again. And I was able to add $25 worth of D-Bucks to my payment. I also used some of my rollover money and I pulled about $100 from my savings account because again, yes, yeah, saving is nice, but I'm starting to think I should be putting a little more focus on this debt and trying to finish this off for 2024. All right, so my second payment was a total of $485. That brought my balance down to $16,974.87. So I, did, I don't pay interest on my second payment because I make the payment on the same day. And so that is what I owe, a total of $16,974.87. I am happy to see that dropped another thousand dollars and i am now in the sixteen thousand dollar range and let me tell you that is wonderful so i'm happy that i am seeing this drop dramatically so let's go to what i paid I made a total of one thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars in payments and so guys i have officially paid $40,168.87 on this loan. Oh my gosh, I am just so amazed at the amount of money that I have paid. 
$40,000. That is nothing to sneeze at. So for the last 40 months, I have been making payments on a very consistent basis, multiple payments. And so I am literally 10,000 away from my original balance. But I wish I had that car screech tire sound. <laughs> but of course, interest is always rearing its ugly head. So I have paid a total of $7,061.15 in interest. Boo, right? <laughs> that is what SoFi got out of this $40,000. And so $33,107.72 is what was paid for the principal of the loan. So in the grand scheme of things, the loan is going down. I'm paying as much as I can. I am finally seeing this balance drop by about a thousand dollars every month and that feels good i am hopeful i will still be able to pay a little more throughout the year and hope that i can get this paid off as much as possible there's no guarantee but as much as possible for the 2024 year that is my goal so thank you everybody thank you for all your support please Share my video with your friends. Let people know this can be done. It takes a lot of discipline. You have to sacrifice sometimes, but it will be worth it if you can pay it off. Now, some people, they've gotten forgiveness and my hats are off to them. I applaud you. But for those who are just trying to pay their loans, I encourage you to keep going. You can do it and just stay focused. All right. I want to thank you all for joining me for my February student loan update. You all are rock stars. Some of you have been supporting me since day one, so I appreciate you. So next month, can I get to 15000 You'll have to wait and see. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I will see you around in the next one. Bye.